He fell down the elevator shaft. Tragic. Excuse me, Mr. Omar. Hold on, Mr. Julius. Oh, he wanted to hold on, all right. I'm holding on now. No, no. Now who's he gonna call? Huh? Oh, oh, love Tragic. <laughs> Tragic. I need to make a call. I'm almost off. He'd better be, because it's almost on. <laughs> no, that's what we're here for. For the next few days, all I did was study for that test and try to figure out a way to get rid of Mr. Newton. I could call the feds and say Mr. Newton was working for the mob. There he is. Come on, oh, hold it. Oh, oh. Let's move. Oh. I could call the mob and say Mr. Newton was working for the feds. Whoa, hold it. Oh. Or I could call his wife and say he had a white woman on the side. There she is. Oh. One way or another, he had to go. What's up with you, man? You've been looking kind of tired lately. Let me ask you a question. How do you get rid of somebody that's been giving you problems? Now, when you say get rid of, do you mean get rid of, rid of? Or just rid of? Just get rid of. He has a job and I don't want him to have it. Boy, you better watch what you're talking about, boy. You make a mistake, boy. You want to talk about this first or what? Man, it's not you. It's my substitute teacher. Oh. Oh. Well, then in that case, um, what do you know about him? Well, mostly. Just this. What is this? His resume. While the ghetto Rambo worked with me, the ghetto Gretzky worked on my mom. Hey, Mom, can I watch the big game? No. You should have thought about that before you hit your sister. Ma, I didn't hit her. So what do you call it then? She was trying to take the remote away, and I just tapped her on the wrist. So you hit her? I guess. Just a little, but she started it. That does not matter, Drew. You do not hit girls. Bottom line. Do you understand me? My mother ruined any chance Drew had of becoming a pimp. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. 